So you guys have been playing very, very well. You're coming into TI at the top of the point standings, and you've been playing at a very high level all season, placing in the top. Does that add extra pressure to play well in TI, or is that really good momentum? It's feeling really good to come to TI as a favorite, so we feel very confident. How do you translate the success that you've had at the other majors to success at TI? Because sometimes we've seen teams get to the main stage at TI and falter for one reason or another. For our team, it was important to feel uh, to feel confidence, mm -hmm. to feel that we can win. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you're able to play consistently well, no matter who you're facing and no matter where you happen to be playing? Because you're Russians. Because you're Russians. Of course. Not everyone. <laughs> there are other <laughs> Russians playing on other teams, you know. Yeah, no one is only a Ukrainian player. <laughs> no team. I mean, it doesn't matter for us mm -hmm. to whom play against, mm -hmm. because we built our game like step by step, and we only see heroes, not nicknames against us. You know. Yeah. Right. A lot of people credit your drafting techniques with winning games before you even start. Do you place that much of the credit there, or do you think it's an even balance? Dota is a difficult game and the draft phase is very important. So our secret is that we are drafting all together, not only me, not only Ramses. So we discuss a lot about drafts, about heroes, mm -hmm. and we listen to each other. So that's how we do it. How much of your success comes down to the way that you're able to mentally play the game and perhaps psychologically get into the heads of your opponents? I feel like they afraid us because we won a lot mm -hmm. this season. So they have to respect us before game start. And sometimes people are nervous because they know that we play fast and ag aggressive Dota. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn from TI7 that Maybe you're changing for TI-8, for those of you who are on the team. We changed team. one player. One, besides changing one player. Ah, that's all. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> oh, dear. We changed a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't play good even at group stage. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, luck for us that we go to win a bracket mm -hmm. after group stage. Mm -hmm. Because we could go to a loser bracket after lose to IG. Uh, this year we are more focused on group stage, mm -hmm. and we built our drafts step by step at our bootcamp uh, to not have bad situations on draft mm -hmm. like we had the year before. And the main the main thing that we learned from the last year is that, is that you don't need to think about anything. Like you just to play and for fun. Yeah. Don't care about anything. Just to play. Try to focus on just the game in front of you instead of just have that. Fun. <laughs> just have fun. Just have fun. Who is helpful in reminding you all to have fun in-game if you're starting to get a little tilted? Roger. 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 Okay. That was an easy answer. Who gets you back on track if you're... Roger. Really? Obviously. obviously okay. Roger. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Roger. You need a fourth position player. So that's interesting that you decided to refocus your energy on group stage, and then that was a big takeaway from last not year. Not all. Not all focus, but um, more than... Previous year. Right. So we were thinking about playoffs, we were saving our strategies mm -hmm. to playoff, we didn't show like what we can group stage and that was bad for us. Yeah. This time we want to play really good mm -hmm. group stage, but we'll save a save little some. to playoffs, yeah. Who do you think is your biggest competition here? Liquid. Uh, the, actually all of the teams, but yeah. it's like... All of teams are good at this year. Yeah. yeah. Well, how do you think that the level of play has changed over the years? Dota is amazing now. Like, uh, previous to I, to I, it was like 40 heroes mm. in meta. Now it's about 80, Yeah, maybe even more. Each team play with their own style. Mm -hmm. All right, one last question. What would winning the Aegis mean to each of you? It means everything. Like, you work for this so hard that you just want to do it, no matter what. I'm playing Dota more than half of my life. Oh, wow, I didn't think of it that way. I'm 28. Whoa. <laughs> and I started to play Dota when I was 13, I guess. Wow. That's a good so way to think of it. A lot. Yeah. It would really represent all the hard work you put in. All of us. Yeah. It's Especially him. <laughs>